Hey YouTube, it's Muffins97 and today we have the unboxing of Saints Row 4 National Treasure Edition. Now first thing you'll notice is that it's in this lovely red case. Don't you like it? Don't you love these red cases? I actually don't mind them. People say, how can you have so many red boxes in your collection? Like It, it doesn't really matter to me. Anyways, this is basically like Saints Row 3 or the third full package. That includes $50 in uh, bonus content. I don't know how much this is uh, worth in content. I might tell you on the back. But um, overall, I got this for my birthday. Sorry it took a while for these unboxings to come out. And um, I know they went a bit overboard with the craziness and how it's basically you against aliens now instead of actual gangs. Like the first, second, and... The, the first and second one uh, was, which I've never played. I've only played the third one. But I will uh, show you the... No, actually, unbox it first. That's that's what you guys watch these videos for, right? And I don't want you to wait till like four minutes to see the unboxing, which I've done on other unboxings. So. If you haven't checked my birthday video out, uh, please do so. Get this wrapper off. Shiny. I'll show you the box now then. Greatest Hits. That's why it's in the red case. PlayStation 3. Saints Row 4 National Treasure Edition. I think it's a slightly different cover art than the uh, original fourth cover art was. I'm not sure. Uh, in the seal of the President of the United States, we've got over 20 DLC packs included. It's rated M for Mature, Hilarious, Action Packed, and Fun to Play, The Escapist says, and Volition, and Deep Silver took over it, like they did with Metro, because THQ, as you know, um, you know, got bankrupt. And apparently, sorry for rambling too much, apparently uh, Crytek might be picking up Darksiders, that's just a rumor, but they do have ideas for a new Darksiders game. Um... Saints Row 4, National Treasure Edition there on the side, with the deep silver logo. And uh, it normally has stuff here, but it doesn't. I'm pretty sure there's trophies in this game. Uh, maybe it doesn't do it on the red cases. Anyways, it says the United States of... Oh, I already fucked that up. Uh, the United Saints of America <laughs> experience the most insane antiques of Saints Row 4 together in one big collection of awesomeness. Battle your enemies with fully customizable weapons. Shows a screenshot there, it looks like. Don't know what the hell... Oh, it looks like a black hole weapon. Uh, that's in French. Seal of the President of the United States with the Saints Row logo in the middle. Includes main game. Entire collection of Saints Row 4 DLC content with over $50. So it's, so it's like the full package for Saints Row 3. These include Enter the... Dem Dominatrix mission pack. Um, how to how and how the saints save Christmas. And what does it say here? Oh, how the saints save Christmas. Oh, just the logos for the DLC. Okay, player one. Network players two, because I'm pretty sure it's co-op. Required hard drive space four point five gigs. Um, displayed in seven twenty p. DualShock three compatible, headset compatible. All the logos there for all your logo needs. And it's rated M for blood, intense violence, partial nudity, sexual content, strong language, and use of drugs. I thought I heard the disc moving around in there. Like loose. Of course the disc's in there. Um, here we have it. I thought there was a code, but there isn't. Cool cover art there. Or disc art, should I say. And I'm guessing... Oh, that's the French manual codes on the back no is it all on the disc like the third one yeah it must be anyway we actually have controls so i can actually read something out of these fucking instruction manuals but that's pretty much it and look at this red case i know you all like it come on look at it but that's it for my saints row 4 unboxing next up is uh let me think let me think uh, God of War Ascension, so stay tuned for that. Peace.